The exploration of Mars has long captured the imagination of humanity, fueling speculation about the possibility of life beyond Earth. In the midst of this fascination, an intriguing claim emerged, a purported discovery of a skeleton in a photo taken by the Mars rover. The purported discovery of a dinosaur skeleton on Mars emerged when an amateur researcher scrutinized a photo captured by the Mars rover, highlighting what appeared to be the fossilized remains of a creature resembling a dinosaur. The photo, taken on the Martian surface, depicted a rocky landscape with distinctive formations that some interpreted as the skeletal remains of an ancient creature. The claim quickly gained traction online, capturing the attention of enthusiasts and skeptics alike. One user commented on the post, saying that it looks like a skeleton, adding that if you saw this photograph and weren't told that it was taken on Mars, you wouldn't question that it was anything else. The alleged discovery of a dinosaur skeleton on Mars ignited a firestorm of controversy and debate within the public sphere. While some embraced the possibility of life and the implications it carried for our understanding of the universe, others remained skeptical, calling for more conclusive evidence to substantiate the claim. Many users suggested that the possibility of dinosaurs inhabiting Mars is an intriguing concept that has been explored in both scientific discourse and popular imagination. One theory proposed by scientists is the concept of panspermia, which suggests that life could have been transferred between planets through meteorite impacts. If life originated on one planet and was ejected into space due to a cataclysmic event, it could potentially survive the journey within meteorites and colonize another planet. While speculative, this hypothesis raises the possibility that life, including dinosaur-like organisms, could have been transported to Mars from Earth or vice versa. In the realm of Mars anomaly investigation, a separate user has expressed fascination with this particular discovery, labeling it as one of the most distinct and discernible anomalies they have come across. They added that numerous photographs depicting peculiar occurrences on Mars tend to be obscure and challenging to decipher, but this anomaly stands out vividly, leaving no room for doubt regarding its presence. The individual who analyzed the anomaly further remarked on its clear visibility against the background highlighting its striking contrast and undeniable uniqueness amidst the Martian landscape. Since the advent of space exploration, numerous robotic missions have been launched to study Mars, including orbiters, landers, and rovers. These missions have captured high-resolution images of the Martian surface, revealing a diverse and geologically complex landscape. Among the rocky terrain and dusty plains, anomalies have been identified objects that stand out against the natural features of the Martian environment. These anomalies include structures resembling artificial objects, and while many of these features can be attributed to rocks or other phenomena, some anomalies defy easy explanation and raise intriguing questions about their origin. In recent years, Mars rovers such as Curiosity and Perseverance have provided scientists with unprecedented access to the Martian surface allowing for detailed exploration and analysis of geological features. While these missions primarily focus on studying Mars' geology and climate, they have also captured images of intriguing anomalies that defy easy explanation. Examples include objects resembling mechanical parts, metallic fragments, and even what appear to be fossilized remains. While many of these anomalies can be attributed to natural processes, such as erosion and weathering, Others raise questions about the possibility of past or present life on Mars and the potential for ancient civilizations to have once inhabited the planet. On Mars, a mysterious emblem has been spotted that appears to be etched into a stone. Recently, the Mars Opportunity rover captured a picture that displays an object resembling the form of a cross, reminiscent of a Celtic or Irish cross. Many ancient civilizations utilized the Celtic cross and Irish cross designs even before the advent of Christianity. There have been various interpretations surrounding the purpose of the circular ring that encircles the cross. These explanations range from its connection to sun worship and symbolic significance to its aesthetic function of creating a more confined shape for the cross. Many individuals who have examined NASA images extensively contend that they may offer evidence to support the existence of a former civilization. However, some individuals remain unconvinced and argue that it appears to be a naturally occurring phenomenon. Over the years, there have been many reports of anomalous features and structures seen on the surface of Mars. 
While many of these anomalies can be explained by natural geological processes or human error, others have proven to be more difficult to explain and have fueled speculation about the possibility of ancient civilizations or even extraterrestrial life on the Red Planet. One of the most famous anomalies seen on Mars is the so-called Face on Mars, which was first photographed by NASA's Viking 1 probe in 1976. Despite the debunking of many of these formations, there have been many other anomalies observed on the Red Planet that are more difficult to explain. For example, there have been many reports of strange, artificial-looking structures seen on the Martian surface, including pyramids, domes, and other geometric shapes. Some have even suggested that these structures could be evidence of an ancient Martian civilization or even a current civilization that is still living underground. Another anomalous feature seen on Mars is the so-called Mars Rat, a small, rodent-like object that was photographed by NASA's Curiosity rover in 2015. While many scientists have argued that the rat is simply a rock that happens to resemble a small animal, others have suggested that it could be evidence of a small, surviving life form on the planet. Other anomalous features seen on Mars include strange lights and flashes, unusual clouds, and mysterious dust devils. While many of these phenomena can be explained by natural processes, others remain unexplained and have fueled speculation about the possibility of advanced life on the Red Planet. Despite the many anomalies seen on Mars, it is important to approach them with a critical eye and consider alternative explanations. While the idea of ancient civilizations or current life on Mars may seem exciting, it is important to remember that there is currently no direct evidence to support these claims, and that many of the anomalies seen on the planet can be explained by natural phenomena. Over the years, there have been many reports of unidentified objects seen in the skies above Mars. While some of these sightings may be explained by natural phenomena or human error, others have proven to be more difficult to explain, and have fueled speculation about the possibility of advanced life. One of the most famous sightings on Mars occurred in 1959, when the Soviet Union's Mars 1 probe sent back images of what appeared to be a disc-shaped object hovering over the planet's surface. While some skeptics have argued that the object was simply a camera artifact or a trick of the light, others have suggested that it could have been a genuine unidentified object. Over the past few decades, Scientists have made numerous breakthroughs in our understanding of Mars and have discovered a wealth of evidence that suggests the planet may have once been habitable. For example, NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter has detected large deposits of water ice just below the planet's surface, which could provide a vital resource for future human missions to the planet. Similarly, the Curiosity rover has detected organic molecules in Martian rocks, which could be a sign of past or present microbial life. As we continue to explore Mars and search for signs of life on other planets, it is important to maintain an open mind and approach the evidence with a critical eye. While the possibility of advanced life on Mars may seem tantalizing, it is important to remain cautious and skeptical and to consider alternative explanations for any unusual phenomena we observe. Ultimately, only through careful scientific investigation and collaboration can we hope to uncover the truth about mysterious aircrafts and other mysteries of the universe. The Vortices Near Jupiter's North Pole We have all seen the beautiful images captured by NASA of the other planets, and it's always astounding when a new, clearer image is revealed to the public. But what you might not have known is that these photographs are not just beautiful, they also serve to provide very important information about the planets, and this has never been truer as in the case of the new pictures of Jupiter, which have allowed for the discovery of vortices near the planet's North Pole. NASA recently captured a new photograph of the planet through its JunoCam instrument, showing vortices near the North Pole that look as though they have been painted by watercolour. However, this deceitfully calming and alluring image is actually a culmination of chaotic and tumultuous storms that frequent and indeed make up the planet of Jupiter. The storms are hurricanes with wind patterns that can reach speeds of up to 30 miles in height and are spread across hundreds of miles of gaseous plains. Furthermore, the colours that we see are edited to enhance what we can perceive of the planet's atmosphere and surface. 
The gorgeous images NASA provides are often slightly altered and coloured in order to show the depths and shapes of Jupiter's storms, which would otherwise not be as clear and evident. The new photograph was taken at about 15,600 miles above Jupiter's cloud tops. It was then digitally altered and enhanced by scientist Brian Swift for the purposes of revealing these Jovian storms and analysing them. So while there are some pictures of Jupiter that look blue and others that are more reddish, in reality the actual colour of the spirals seen in those pictures are actually dependent on their directions and chemistry. The colour palettes of these storms differ depending on whether they are moving clockwise or counterclockwise in the planet's northern hemisphere or southern hemisphere. Jupiter's Great Red Spot, for example, is a storm in the southern hemisphere that moves counterclockwise. Besides the fascinating colour schemes, scientists are interested in learning more about Jupiter's stormy weather and finding more information about Jovian clouds and the fluid dynamics in the planet's atmosphere. NASA's Parker Solar Probe has captured the first visible light images of Venus. One of the amazing things about how we view space is the fact that we can paint a picture of certain areas in any number of wavelengths that can each tell us something unique about the area which we are attempting to learn about. Capturing these observations outside of the spectrum of visible light means that sometimes it can be hard to see elements of space as they truly are, and to paint a picture that is representative of how they would look if they could be seen in person. Recently, researchers solved this dilemma with one element of space, the mysterious and cloudy Venus, whose thick atmospheric cover means that its surface is usually thoroughly shielded from view. But recent analysis has confirmed that images taken in two flybys of Venus by NASA's Parker Solar Probe captured some of the first visible light images of the night side of Venus using its wide field imager. The images were combined into a video that reveals how truly varied and interesting the elusive surface of Venus truly is. The images show a lightly glowing oxygenated atmosphere that sheds a soft light onto a surface riddled with what appears to be continental landmasses complete with everything from plains to plateaus. Study of Venus is incredibly important to researchers, and analysis of these images stands to provide significant advances to scientists' understanding of this prominent planet occasionally referred to as Earth's twin. Because Venus is a major player in the search for extraterrestrial life forms, as well as the understanding of how the solar system formed, astronomers are deeply interested in the more detailed composition of the icy planet as well as clues as to why Venus developed into a frigid wasteland while Earth became teeming with life. Brian Wood, with the Naval Research Laboratory and lead author of the study detailing these results, said, Venus is the third brightest thing in the sky, but until recently we have not had much information on what the surface looked like because our view of it is blocked by a thick atmosphere. Now, we finally are seeing the surface in visible wavelengths for the first time from space. What is even more exciting is that this discovery was entirely unexpected, as the wide field imager had just been deployed to take photographs of the famously dense swirl of clouds atop the planet to measure the speed at which they moved. It was not thought that the technology would have the capabilities to see deeper into the planet Thus, the photographs were a happy surprise for researchers as the night side of the planet lined up perfectly with the camera lens of the spacecraft so that the longest wavelengths of the visible light spectrum were able to penetrate the clouds. Hopefully, this information can be used to get to the bottom of the mysteries cloaking Venus. But what do you make of these recent discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.